Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to Yahweh that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, um, I just doing a quick um, in transit video, um, touching on this nigga, this nigga Young Jock or Young Joke, should I say? This nigga is a joke. He done made a buffoon of himself in front of the whole world by, you know, um, publicly putting on this, putting on a dress, on a blue dress. Uh, in fact, right? What it, what's the saying? You know, devil in a blue dress. He's a deceiver. You know, but anyway, you know, he just showing showing himself that he sold he done sold out. You know what I'm saying? The man has, or the faggot, or should I say, you know, he has no morals, no integrity. You know what I'm saying? He'll do anything for a dollar. That's and that's that's you know that's the problem with our people. You know, for the fame to be counted as something in this world, to do something for a quick buck, these niggas would stoop to you know. They'll go all out, you know what I'm saying? They'll do whatever it take, you know what I'm saying, just to just to stay re relevant, so to say. You know what I'm saying? But the scriptures speak against that. You know, um, I want to get this first scripture. This is uh this is uh first Corinthians six and nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high? Right? That's a question. And hey, the answer is for this nigga, young joke, he don't know. You know what I'm saying? He don't know that. Or 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 either he does know, you know what I'm saying, he disregards it. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of our people, they don't even want to know in the first place. You know what I'm saying? It says, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Alright? Hey, none of these people getting into the kingdom of the most high, man. The most high ain't dealing with that. You know what I'm saying? The, the Lord is looking for uh, rough, rugged men, all right, to lead, um, to lead the kingdom of heaven. You ain't looking for no faggots, you know what I'm saying? No, nobody that's sweet, you know what I'm saying? No soft, no softies, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, dealing with that, you know, abuser, uh, nor abuser of themselves with mankind, you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, cause, you know, when, when these guys, these celebrities, you know, they get up in fame or whatnot, you know, they have to sell out. You know what I'm saying? They have to do something. Hey, they got to do something strange for a little piece of change, right? You know what I'm saying? What's, and what's strange? You know what I'm saying? Abusing yourself with, with mankind, sleeping with other men, or let other men pop you in the ass. You know what I'm saying? That's what a lot of these niggas is getting into. That's that's the low that they'll, you know, <laughs> That's the load that they'll um, stoop to, you know what I'm saying, just to, just to make it on this side, you know what I'm saying? So for him to put that dress on, you know what I'm saying, hey, somebody wanted, you know, he uh, uh, he took that deal, you know what I'm saying? Most likely got popped in his ass, you know what I'm saying, say, hey, okay, because he talking about, he talking about, He's basically like an attention whore, you know what I'm saying? He talking about don't judge me, you know what I'm saying, and all this. And I'm going to get scriptures on that, but, you know, he's he did it, you know, basically to be on see certain TV shows or what have you. Talking about he's supposed to be on four or five TV shows or some bullshit. And it's like, so what, nigga? Who gives a damn? These reality TV shows that's not even real. It's all scripted and fake, and it ain't got nothing. It's not teaching our people shit. It ain't teaching us, teaching our people to be nothing but coons and buffoons. You know what I'm saying? But that's why two thirds of, the, of our people, man, they gotta go. They will die. They gonna get burned with that uh, thermonuclear fire. That's how they going out. That's that's their judgment. You know what I'm saying? For forsaking the word of the Lord. All right? When hey, when the evil days come, not. You know what I'm saying? But um, I want to look up this word effeminate right quick. Let's see. Okay, you got effeminate. What's this? Up? No. 
it's so like I can't really pull it up right now. I'm, like I say, I'm in transit. But anyway, I know it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's the, the resemblance of a woman, basically. You know what I'm saying? Putting on the traits of a woman, you know? A man is supposed to be and look like a man at all times. Hey, hey this nigga always got his, his face all smooth and shaved. And, and then, oh yeah, and recently, you know what I'm saying? Been wearing that faggot ass hairstyle, that, that perm. You know what I'm saying? Talking about his cool and this and that. And hey, you can just show that nigga was just, he was, um, I don't know, just gradually, you know, coming in and, you know, gradually showing himself, showing who he really is. You know what I'm saying? And coming out the closet, as they say. You know, because uh, this he's supposed to be what an Atlanta trap nigga. You know, he, he from the trap and this, that, and the other. It's going down, <laughs> right? But what's going down with this nigga? This nigga is a homo, man. This nigga's a straight up faggot, flaming faggot, you know? Now he say, don't judge, right? So let's get scriptures on that. Let's see if we supposed to judge or not. I mean, you got, hey, look. You got a book that's called the Book of Judges. So um, the Bible deals with judgment. You know, judgment or judging people, which means to think critically. You know what I'm saying? To to compare things. You know, uh, to 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 make certain of what's right and what's wrong. You know, this is uh, Leviticus. Get it? This is uh, Leviticus 19 and 15. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment thou shalt not respect the person of the poor nor honor the person of the mighty but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor all right now this is dealing with our people our neighbors is, is, is israelites they ain't got nothing to do with the other nations but we gonna get them too but you know as far as our people correct we're supposed to correct each other you know what i'm saying we're supposed to let let each other know when we going off. You know, that's how righteousness prevails, you know, throughout the nation of Israel. You know what I'm saying? But this nigga say he don't want to be judged. You can't judge me. As a lot of our people say, because, you know, they want to continue to do their wickedness. They don't want nobody to call them out. You know, but hey, it don't matter. Hey, it don't even matter what we say. At the end of the day, we just speaking the words of the Lord. All right, and hey, if you don't hear it from us, or you, if you don't want to hear from us, how much more the Lord? Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be no 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 bad talk when the Lord come here and judge this place. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna be able to have a one-on-one -on -one convo and say, you know, and go and have a debate and go tit for tat. The word, the, the word of the Lord is what it is. You know what I'm saying? He he's not gonna change or bend because of some nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know how much time I got here. So I only can record in 15 minute, uh, you know, interviews on this cheap ass phone. But um, for this nigga right here, this is Deuteronomy 22. Yeah. I just probably already know where I'm going with it, but. This is, uh, yeah, this is De Deuteronomy 22 and 5. It says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. All right, so none of that cross dressing shit, you know what I'm saying? It's for, you know, for the men as well as the woman. You know, what, you, what you got? You got our women wearing pants, you know what I'm saying? Our women wearing tank tops, men tank tops and boots and shit, fatigue clothes, fitted caps, and all this trying to look manly and shit like they tough but if they step to a real man man they don't want no problems all of a sudden oh you know don't hit me you can't hit a woman this that and other but you want to come up and talk your shit you know what i'm saying it says neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are an abomination to yahweh by shim yahweh shai thy power you see that so this nigga is an abominable creature. So, so what that mean? 
You know what I'm saying? This nigga's like swine. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you not supposed to, you know, with swine, you're not supposed to eat there. So, you ain't, so spiritually, you're not supposed to uh, take heed to any of his conversation. Ignore niggas that, 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 that come like that. You know what I'm saying? Neither are you, you know, you not around, you know, like swine, like you're not supposed to touch it. You're not supposed to eat there. So with this nigga, this nigga shouldn't even, or niggas like this shouldn't even be in your circle. You shouldn't be um, um, in cahoots or associates with niggas like this because they're degenerate. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, they have no morals. They have no standard. You know what I'm saying? The men of the Lord have has a standard, all right, which is the Bible, the word of the Heavenly Father. All right? So, hey, just with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that we will peace and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom.